everyone wednesday bubble tea day i ordered bubble tea from a new place hopefully it's good i wanted to show you guys something okay it might not look like much but this is a nepali i guess like a potato salad <laughs> i don't know how else to describe it um it's called aloo achar Salim's mom makes the best one it is so good i tried making it a few times myself and they were good attempts but just like still not but this one i've made Mm. My best one. Bubble tea. What happened? How'd you know that I was coming at that time? Cause I heard you, and then I heard the keys in the door, and I'm like, I really hope that's Liam. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. <gasps> Shoe you. I got it from Shoe you. I went safe, and I got. Um, I I think it's it. Okay, it says tear balls meat brown sugar. I. It's not the name, but it's like just a regular black milk tea with, with taro balls and um, brown sugar jelly. So safe, safe flavor. Is it good? Oh, that's amazing. Thing. Just like mm. That is interesting tapioca. Mm. Hold on. Interesting. I had to look at it. <laughs> I guess they're like hand, they look handmade in tapioca, but the texture is different. Mm. It's still chewy like a tapioca, but it's not the usual texture. This one, the texture is almost like mochi. Not a bad thing. It's really good. I know you're jealous. He's not listening. It's pretty good, right? My best one yet. I'm going to finish this. Are you serious? I think so. I don't want to. But you want to at the same time. Do you like the cucumber in it? I love the cucumber. Hi everyone. It's Thursday and I'm by myself. Salim left. He had to go to Waterloo. So I won't see him until Saturday morning. So I'm staying here by myself tonight. Um, I'm really scared. <laughs> I've never stayed by myself at this apartment overnight even back at home there was always someone in the house but i told myself just try one night you're a big girl it's just one night so that's what i'm doing morning everyone it's the weekend i am at my parents i'm having some car issues so i came over yesterday my dad fixed my car um salim went to waterloo He's coming back later today and then I'm gonna pick him up. Just gonna. Which, it's not cinnamon toast. It's like, it, but, but it is supposed to be like little toast. Fuck. I forgot what it's called. French toast crunch. I think so. I haven't had this in years. I don't know if you guys can see it. My dad is there. He's washing my car. Ah, so sweet. I didn't even ask him to. That's why I love my parents. Like, they're always going above and beyond with like anything. My childhood room, now that I've moved out, it has turned into like a workout gym and like a, a green room for my mom. Yoga. Yeah, my bed's still here. Some of my stuff is still here too. Some weights, of course. So yeah, this photo. I forgot what house or castle we were in, but anyways, this is a panoramic and I'm here. And like, while Celine was moving, I had to get to the next spot. There's me again. And then there's me. But anyway, Celine did this like in one shot. It looks amazing. This is also what I do when I'm here, is I steal paper towels and toilet paper. Where is the toilet paper? <laughs> I feel so pathetic. <laughs> I'm like, toilet paper, where is the toilet paper? Oh, it's right there! Oh my god. What is wrong with me, man? I really hope I'm not the only one that does this. <laughs> it's not that we can't afford toilet paper or paper towels. It's just my parents have such an abundance of it. <laughs> So 
I don't think they mind sharing for the basement. I haven't been here in so long. Um, it's a lot of my brother's stuff because he's moving. Then this like workout equipment is all my parents. You know what? I have to come back for the paper towels. Back in Toronto. I picked Salim up from square one. He took a bus from Waterloo to square one. But before I picked up Salim, I got Vietnamese iced coffee. Oh. So good. And it just gets better as like the ice melts into it. I was telling Salim that the weather is so perfect for shopping. It's like a good shopping day. But I can't go shopping and I'm so upset. What do you want to do this weekend? Just stare at each other until Monday. Okay. What's up? I feel like this is why folks go to like pedicure manicure place because it's relaxing, but it's just someone to talk to. Yeah. So talk to me. But I'm doing my own nails, so shouldn't I just talk to myself? So talk to yourself then. Okay, <laughs> no, let me do no, it. You're like, I don't want to do it. Let anymore. me do it to no, you. No, you're gonna hurt me. That's fine. I won't. No, hurt that you. It won't hurt. That's fine, who cares? I know, I won't hurt you. I know. Are you filming me? I know. Can I do it now? I know. I know. All right, there we go. You're, oh my god, you're gonna hurt me. There you go, see? <laughs> you're not doing anything. I am. You have to like scrape it. <laughs> Ow. What's that? What? That's a scar. Why are you trying to embarrass, <laughs> <laughs> trying to embarrass me? I hate you. God dang, what is is this a so, surgery? You going into surgery, girl? So <laughs> any like leftover cuticle, you cut it off. There we go. Eating some leftover fatouche. Fatouche, whenever I'm in Mississauga, all I want to do is order this. It's like an Osmos or a Lizzie's, but it actually tastes good. <laughs> I know everyone loves Osmos and Lizzie's, but uh, it, it comes, Fatouche is way better. It's a family owned business. There's only Are one. Are you sure? Yeah, there's no other Fatouche. I don't it's know. It's in Brampton. And I always order it when I'm there. It's so good. And then they have this hot sauce that's really good too. I did my nails, which I haven't done in the longest time. So I started off with like a purple green, and then I wanted to try. Then my right hand is a different color, it's the pink and yellow. Didn't really vlog last night, but we watched The Village, which was oh, what a crazy twist. Um, it was good. It was scary. I was like scared, dog. And then we watched the Lizzie McGuire movie. I thought it was like high school. No, she's in grade eight. Like that's her grade eight graduation trip, a trip to Rome. Now that I'm older, I'm like looking at Paolo and he's 17. She's supposed to be 13. I've forgotten all about poor credit. Let's move to Oakville. Sleem just always needs to throw rocks. Oh yeah, I can. Here. Where was your farthest? Do it again. I'm gonna try and give myself a trim. Ends are just filled with split ends. Okay, so she said if I go down the middle, just take like a section. Okay, oh my god, that's a lot of hair. I know this is a total hack job, but I don't care. My fingers are like cramping up. What's the next step? 
Oh, 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 oh my god. Okay, okay, don't freak out. Don't freak out, Kim. You're not done. So the guide is here. I don't know if you guys can see it. That's like what I just cut. This is the new layer. She's saying to cut like an inch above the guide. So this much is getting off. Are you sure, lady? It just seems like a lot of hair. You're making these noises that make it seem like... I know. You're fine. I know. <laughs> Don't do that. I I honestly don't care anymore. It just feels so much better. We had some dinner and we're ending off the weekend, of course, with some bubble tea. I love the strawberry and matcha milk tea. Mm. Man, this weekend felt so short because I wasn't with Salim on Friday. So it sucks because it actually feels like Saturday's birthday. Okay, everyone, I'm going to end the vlog here. Thanks so much for watching everyone and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!